how are you? I'm so glad you're here. So today I want to continue on the language of the salon, kind of clarifying what some of the services are. Last time it was about the root touch-ups. Today I want to talk about toner, gloss, and glaze. Now these ones I think has not just you confused, but it has all of us confused sometimes because they're so interchangeable and the three of them function the same way. They have the same principles. So I'm going to just kind of briefly talk about each one and how you can use them. So I want to start off with the glaze. So the glaze is a really interesting one because we do it in the salon as well, but it works also at home. So the best way to describe this one is the DP Hue has a gloss that you could do at home or a glaze that you could do at home. We call it a gloss. And then there's also Kevin Murphy has one as well. Now the two of them, what they're made made for is to for you to use between your visits. It's not to replace the toner gloss at the salon. It's not to replace that service. It's just so that your hair stays fresh and looking beautiful throughout the weeks from that one visit to your following visit. So you never come into that one visit thinking like, oh my God, I hate my hair. So no one ever wants to feel that way, right? So you always want your hair to just continue to look beautiful until you have to retouch it one more time. So that's basically what those products do um, at home. It has no ammonia and it has no peroxide. It's just the bottle, it's just straight out of the bottle, you put it in your hair, you leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes, and then you just rinse it off, and then you just condition your hair, and then you're good to go. And then that should last you for, you know, two weeks or so, and then you could do it again one time before your next visit, or, you know, just maybe like every three to four weeks in between your visits, depending on how far off your visits are. So that's how that one works. Now, the glaze will give your hair a, a tremendous amount of shine, and it really refreshes your color in between that time. And the best part, I think, is that it really helps with flyaways and frizziness, because it really just kind of smooths it out your hair. I've used both the DP Hue and the Kevin Murphy. I don't know which one I love more, because they're both amazing. They both work really great. And I, I I don't I can't I can't see which one I like the most because they both um, are amazing. So they both do the same thing. It left my hair super shiny, very silky, and it was just easy to use. So that was something that I kind of recommend uh, for my clients to use as a take home product to just for maintenance. Now a gloss and a toner. This one I think is puppy because I even have like a hard time because sometimes I say, Oh, you want a toner? Oh, you want a glass, glass, toner, turn to glass. So we're always like, oh, you know, I'll just put the toner glass. Um now I know toner, the word toner is an old word. It's an old term to refer to a gloss. And the gloss and the toner are pretty much the same. They're semi permanent and demi permanent. They're both used to customize what we need to do for that finish. So they both give you a tremendous amount of shine. Now, they also protect your color and they refresh your color all around, but they also uh, will eliminate uh, certain unwanted shades. Like nobody wants to walk out with brassy hair or too yellowy or even just kind of like that raw look of after you've lifted up your hair with bleach or um, it also helps with just like any any tones or do, or you sometimes in between your services you feel like your ends kind of like they just kind of get a little raw and so this will just help to refresh it all when you do a, a root touch up or even maybe you're just coming in for a trim but you have your your highlights that you did them like maybe about six or eight weeks ago It'll totally refresh that. But it also works on all natural hair color. It really gives your natural hair color an extra baboon of like 
just super shiny. It kind of helped to kind of give it a little bit of like, I don't know, like you, you can style it more. It just does something different. And it looks a little bit different without looking different. Does that make sense? It looks different without looking different. But it, it just gives your hair a, just a really just a nice, beautiful finish. But with the toner, I feel sometimes we can make them slightly more, um, I don't want to say aggressive because it's not aggressive, but we can use the toners. I feel um, it kind of adds a little extra punch to the color because you could actually use it to, uh, to cover the gray without actually using permanent color. Yeah, who would have thought, right? So what's really great about this technique is it's like not committing to any color. You put it at the roots, it covers the gray. So then when your hair starts growing out, this part starts to fade out a bit. So you get this really nice soft grow out. So you don't get, you know how we sometimes get that little, I call it the skunk line, where, where you see the demarcation of the white hair and then, and then the color of the hair. So it kind of keeps away from that demarcation so it just kind of has like this really nice blended grow out much softer because it's not a permanent it's a demi or a semi permanent and uh this is just a really great alternative to to covering those braids where if you don't want to commit to doing it permanently i do this myself and i find it so much easier because i tend to change my hair color a lot so this is just a really easy way for when I do want to go lighter. It it really helps the stylist who's doing my hair where she's not going to have to be fighting so much of like the pigments of the permanent hair. So this is another alternative. Or for example, let's say you have, you know, you have highlights, you got the balayage, you're really bright and now it's fall and you want to go a little darker. Instead of putting a permanent color on there, and then losing your highlights or you're losing all that brightness of the balayage. This is a really great alternative because you could go that color with using the toner without making the commitment. And then with time, it just starts to kind of fade out and then your light brights are back on again. So this is a really great um, service that I just feel like has so many possibilities. And I highly recommend Whenever you come in, whether you're getting a haircut, getting your root touch up, you know, doing your highlights or balayage or ombre, whatever treatment you're doing, always ask for a gloss toner or toner gloss. Is it the toner or gloss? Did you say gloss? They're both the same thing. They're basically both the same thing. I'm sorry. The gloss the toner is the same thing. I've had this argument with so many people so many times. They're the same thing. We customize it to fit you. So that is the beauty of this, this service, is that it is customizable and it's made for you for whatever you're needing that day. So that is basically a toner in the gloss in a nutshell. <laughs> so I hope this really helps. And if you have any questions or kind of wondering, if this is a good fit for you, please leave a comment. I would love to chit chat with you and, and clarify and find out what would be good for you or not. And uh, I would like to know your own experience with the gloss and the toners and how you like them. And have any of you used those glazes, those at-home glosses from like DPU or Kevin Murphy? I would love to hear what you have to say about it because I really like both of them. They're really great. So I would really like to hear from you. And so just leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. You have a good one. Bye.